The first one is what I wanted to say, and the second one is what I will say about moving. You know, in the few years since I started this YouTube channel, we've moved from in the city to way down south to back in the city to a little bit outside of the city, and now we're going a little bit further outside of the city. It's a lot of moving. You know, moving is not a bad thing, especially if that movement means progress. Uh, if you're going forward and moving forward, that's a good thing. If you're moving backwards, that's not a bad thing. But this move, this is a move towards progress. Okay, both of the horses in the trailer. Um, I don't have an extra set of hands today, so if you haven't seen me load horses in a trailer, you can watch, I don't know, just about any of our videos and see me doing that. So, go check that out. Now, maybe I should explain a little bit about where we're going. Over the past, I don't know, two or three months, you've seen me ride at this beautiful arena. A beautiful, private arena. And every time I've wanted to go ride over there, I have to come over here, pick up the horses, drive 20 minutes over there, ride, drive 20 minutes back, unload, and then go home. Now, when the opportunity presented itself to have both of the horses over at that arena and just board them there, versus having to go back and forth, I just couldn't say no. Now, not only is there a convenience factor with us not having to drive back and forth every time we want to ride, there's also a great barn help there. That way, in instances like this weekend when we're going to the American, which you should be going to the American. And if you are going to the American, shoot me a comment down below and uh, we'll be there. So come meet us. Having barn help is definitely handy on weekends like this weekend uh, where I don't have to go find help to uh, take care of the horses. All right, we made it to the new digs. Uh, I am gonna get blue worked a little bit before we put them up. Um, since we're already here, we might as well, huh? How freaking cool is that? That's one of those, uh, I guess, paraglider deals. It's freaking loud, but it is cool up against the uh, clouds right there. Oh my gosh, he is so far up there. It's gonna be a no for me, dog. Is he gonna roll? Yep. When he gets up, pretty good chance he'll buck a little bit. So everybody gotta watch out. Feel better? I like to pony him, but he actually does better if I just take the lead rope off. Um, if I have the lead rope on and try to pony him, he just is like constantly pulling me back. But if I just let him kind of off and you know, I mean, there's nobody else here, obviously. So um, it doesn't really matter. But if I just let him off and just let him kind of do his thing, he'll follow us at a decent pace. So maybe once we pick up the trot, he'll do that too. Come on, Smokey. <whistles> well, we lost him. Maybe if I pick up the trot, he'll start coming, but probably not. He's got a mind of his own. He's like a, he's like that old man for sure. He's kind of stuck in his ways and does what he wants. Come 
Come on. I was trying to get him off that grass. So maybe he come follow us, which maybe he is. He was just kind of stuck over there eating grass and I want him to kind of walk around before we put him up for the evening. Good job, dude. Good boy. Come on. Well, we're back. Um, last night I had full intentions of filming, but you know when I had to get the horses kind of settled in their stalls and uh, and, and get everything um, moved in and, and kind of get everybody settled, the the night just kind of got away from me and it was too dark to film. But today we are with Miss JD Bug, and she is going to her second uh, stock dog training class. Obviously, she's stoked about it. So, here's day two, and uh, let's get to it. I don't know how much useful footage I have. Um, it's kind of hard to film sometimes. Our trainer does this for a living, so don't want to out any secrets or anything. And uh, all this panting that you're hearing, that's Jade. She had a bit of fun tonight. Um, uh, in the beginning, really working on her going out and kind of staying out. Um, and she was pretty fresh today, if you want to call it that. So she had a lot of energy. Uh, and then the second part, second half of the training, uh, really working on on the command there and making sure that she stays there and and then walking up and trying to ease her and trying to get her to learn there and easy um, but she did really good I mean solid training all the way around um, she's having a blast and you know these puppies especially when they're new all they want to do is just kind of go after stock and so um, teaching her that she can stay there and she can walk up easy and she doesn't have to go ballistic is what we're working on so we're going to cut the video here guys thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you next time